Alright, welcome to episode 3 of Time to Slide's Deathly Land series. Uh, this map is called Cold Depths. And, yep. You could hear by the noise spam. What's that called? Oh, I'm not gonna say the, the other term, but... The Skelly Farm is complete. Uh, like, 11 spawners or something. It's D for 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 spawners. Pretty crazy. The craziest part would be, um, taking out all the torches. <laughs> oh man, that was a lot of arrows. But I didn't die. Armor did a little. It was crying. But, I'm ready to go adventuring. Tired of the subsidian place. Drop the bones. We got a ton of arrows. Let's take another full stack. I'll get some more wood because I ran out last time. That's why I left the cave in the first place. But I did find. I did see something while working on this. My first dirt pillar is way over there. These are my three cobble ones right here. So that that direction is my original base, but I have no need to go there. So I'm going to continue following... Where did they go? Right here. This cobblestone line. That direction. And see if anything comes up. Maybe even just straight along the blocks direction wherever you want to say it but the mobs they get pushed down the stream pushed along pushed up this one a mob elevator with alternating signs and water source blocks get up there I have problems with the sky limit so that parts three high and open to the elements which is why a lot die when the land because it gets fire but only during the day and and they fall down the chute to get the one punch kill, which is 23 blocks tall. And then my chassis chest. We, can, we might be able to, No, we don't have no sand. Alright, we can't use it then. So, time to go adventuring along this line. I'll speed this up and see you say something if I've seen anything interesting like another one of these cubes or something. That was long. We have an ocean here. Let me get the mossy cobblestone up. Oh, okay. I have it. That's all good. That's how you drop safely. Oh no, it's gonna flood that whole cave. Oh well. But there's a huge cave here. It didn't flood too badly. I dropped down into it here that I noticed when I pillaring up. But there's a huge, huge ocean. And this is only the first pillar since we took off. So let's go check out this ocean. Ice ocean. For that. Hmm. There's snow. Lines going places. Yeah, gonna put another crossroads here. Oh, that was a fail. Can't really miss those, so not that tall. Torch.
And... I think where that snow is, if you head straight in from there, we'll reach the... Victory Monument. So what's along this snow line? I also made some spare iron swords. I didn't mention that, and I farmed two each of the mushrooms. The chunk's not even loading fast enough. You don't need more pillars because... Okay, now I want these chunks to load. While well, this is happening, I did install Optifine because more. This is more so I could get this fan to quiet down a bit. Maybe it could become less resource intensive and it could quiet down for me. Is it underwater? It's bedrock straight underwater. Like three blocks down is bedrock. But I installed Optifine to hopefully like get better performance, which means it will require less like computer power. So the computer fan is needed less. That's my theory. Or my my hopes. So hopefully it, it's better. I also have single player commands that I use for test worlds and stuff. But survival worlds and maps like these don't don't use those. So it looks like we're boating straight from here. Or is this the end of the map? And I'm not supposed to. About to find out. And the sun's going down, so I'll speed up this part too, because it'll be kind of difficult to see. This is the end of the map, obviously. Didn't go very far. Wonder what that line of snow is for, though. What I'm thinking, and what I'm thinking is going to be the uh, bigger possibility, is that everything is underground in those massive, massive caves. And when I say massive, these things go on and on with intersections galore and they're just huge rooms too actually let's go down along the coast there's the other snow line very thin sheets of white on my screen oh yeah I also been playing at brightness 25% so maybe this helps out with you, but I've been doing 25% when I'm playing on my own. It's because I've gotten too used to full, and well, I need a, a practice, practice with low brightness, and maybe I'll improve one point. Uh, official release things, and that snow didn't go anywhere either. I'm just gonna head back, forget this. If in doubt, we know where to go. But, until then, I think I wanna go around the inside of this ice lake, uh, ice place. Um, figure out what's, What's going on? Like, if I could see anything from the outside, it'd be pretty cool to get it. I wouldn't really need to mark my way, I would think. 
So you could just back check or finish the whole loop. But let's go along this ice again. And we have a marker for when you make the full circle too, so. Which direction? That way or that way? Well, when you're running around on the track, you always go counterclockwise. That's what I'll do. No! More snow! Never ending snow. Bro, here's hoping I can find some spiders. That's a lot of sand beneath me. <laughs> they just like stand there on the ice like, oh, you hit me. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Alright, time to speed this up for real. Or not, because there's a cave right here. That really interesting. Yeah, the super pick's still here, still dominating and still scaring me. It pretty much mines. I can see why he would add it though now, because if you're mining through stone, coal, dirt, sand, things like that. You could just easily just wipe it out of your way and you have enough blocks and you could just move on instead of tedious mining. But if you want iron or diamond, you'll have to make iron or diamond picks, which I did. And I made a diamond pick right there. What I'm hoping for is... Uh, what was I saying? Some reeds. Find some reeds on my journey so I can make an enchanting table. So I have the obsidian in that huge obsidian house and lava. Coal right here. But I don't have the reeds yet. The book. Okay. Weird ice. Yeah. That's worth checking out. Another one of these random little things. Okay then. That out of the way. Achieving my arrow, we'll go. Oh yeah, I see something already. Look at that. It's a pirate ship. Forget everything else. Um, okay. That's weird. Only when I'm recording does it double tap that. The, uh, torch things. Torch things? These are torches. Come on, Tungan. But there's more cave. But... I would have liked to sleep, but if this is wool, then I can. It's a sunken pirate ship right here. It is wool, I could sleep the snow off. Perfect. I 
I did not make a workbench yet on this journey, so this is not a waste. Whoa, my wood just went flying there. So. And it's probably a good idea to set my spawn here, too. But this is mostly for this obnoxious snow, because I don't think I'll die. There's a chest right there. Right there. Let's get rid of everything we don't need. And one coal. <laughs> Actually, I could just make more. Get rid of all the sticks, too. Replace it with coal. But what's up here? Nice, nice. Stuff I don't need, but... Oh, that's fancy. <laughs> Look at that snow block on the fence. I like that. That's a nice touch. But, we're gonna have to go down. Ooh, I like the rails. This is quite some... I don't know what we call it. Is it bounty, booty, something like that? Pirates? Pirate loot? Okay, but I'm hoping for something more in this. Doesn't look like it. Dang it. Alright, there's more ship. Phew. The stone floor scared me. And look, it actually takes some time for this pick to go through stone. This is just not good though. I don't... Come on, please be something. Is it just the loot? Well, dang. That hurt a little, but man. <laughs> Where are the wool dungeons? Stop double placing torches. But I had high hopes for this ship, and you let me down. There's a pyramid over there, though. I'm fairly certain that's a dungeon. So we'll stack up right here. You sand this time. This will be my sand line. Well, it's not a pyramid, it just has a pyramid roof. You get this one stream of water, it just keeps going and going. I'll chug along with it. <laughs> Dang. That's kind of far.
Oh, that was that was lovely. I have a never breaking sword that could tear through leaves with creative mode speed, and I waste my sword still durability durability on it. Yes, I like the looks of this. Sand it up. All right, it's time to take on a dungeon. With spawners, I see spawners. Perfect. I'm also hoping for blaze to so get some potions going. So I will need to go to the nether. Okay. I do not need Scully spawners. Oh! That was a mistake. Where is the chest? Oh, there's a ton of torches in there, too. Of course, it'll be the last thing I get. That's a lot of leather and torches, I like it. These scullies are spawning on the insides. Still double placing. I think it's recording lag. I don't know. It feels a bit laggier to me. And I don't know why. Especially with Optifine. Isn't that improve lag performance? We'll go up here by the chest. Light up this ring too. Double place those again. What? Oh, there's ships all around the edge. Okay, so where is my... Okay, sand, I came in from over there. Came to here. But there's a little island or something right there. Another ship. And then another ship over there. If it will load through the fog. I think you've seen it. Alright. So do we just poke in? Because there's no door doorway to this. Hmm. Okay, maybe the doorway is down. So we'll go down the corners. It's down on the lower level. Double chests and a furnace and tons of bookshelves. Ah, oh, books! Wasn't that just asking for books? Skelly come from. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Okay. That was crazy. Yeah! Yeah! Like, oh yeah! Oh, and these are. Oh, yes! Swiftness! You know how much I like swiftness. How much is this? Two full stacks. Three full stacks. Potions, anyone? And we'll put the books away for now. Because you didn't bring the obsidian. Put the rails away. Potions of slowness. I don't know why I want those. It's in these chests. Coal? Yeah. We needed arrows. <laughs> why do we need pressure plates? But we could use the bows. We'll need to carry around every single arrow with us, or every single torch. But we could use blocks up here, early on. Since it's made of mossy, we'll use mossy. You'll need to carry around all the iron. I'm just moving all these to a single chest. Just so it's easier. I'm gonna leave everything come on that's frustrating me now <coughs> sorry about that but man I, I hate just breaking these Okay, do not click with this pick because you'll break chests. So, uh, this is the obvious entrance. Or is this the exit and I went through the end? I hope not. I hope this is not the end because there's no wool here. Okay, there's a downstairs. There's a spawner over here. I think. Light up everything. You can never light it up enough in a CTM map. I was trying to spleef them there, but that didn't quite work out. And I left my blocks behind, so I guess we used dirt. This goes deep, I like it. I don't like these stairs though, it's kind of vulnerable. These new zombies are just tracking me straight up these stairs. This means they'll just die faster. <laughs> Hear that? You're about to get brains so you could die faster. Alright. So it's a library over here. And then there's a fireplace. Anything down here that I need? Is 
Is fire covering up anything? No, but I could use another rack. Don't underestimate the powers of another rack. So the only thing left is this. Fairly certain this lead outside. Yep. It's a party down here. Yes! See it? Oh! That's nice. I like this. I like this touch. It tells you where to dig, but it's not exactly unhidden. Magenta wool. Perfect. But I like that uh, mossy cobblestone touch. <laughs> that was a troll mossy. <laughs> but this is a cool dungeon. I liked it. Ew, that was close. Nether wart. Bring it all. Swiftness. Bring it all. Stack the torches. Flesh. Don't bring it at all. Put this in the inventory. Put that away. Bring this. Put that away. Bring this. Put six arrows away. Bring diamonds. Hmm. That's good. Yep, it's night time. All right. Thanks for watching episode three. I'm going to record episode right four right now, so expect it soon. But thanks for watching. This is Dungaunt. See ya.